Hello world, today I'm going to show you how to make a gradient background in a web page using HTML and CSS. I have the stubs of a web page here, so let's get started. Alright, basically all the HTML we're going to need is right here. The opening and closing div tags surrounding some text. Nothing special there. The ID is going to link to our CSS file. And just to demonstrate, there are several different ways of making gradients, so I will display other elements as well. Now let's take a look at the CSS here. And our gradient ID here. The standard formatting up at the top, but down here, these last three elements here, this is what makes the gradients happen. WebKit wants us to include how much of each part of the box that each color is going to take. This can be kind of tricky if you have a lot of colors. You want all these to add up to 100% if you can. Mozilla, Internet Explorer, and the rest, they tend to be a little easier with how they want their CSS syntax. Here, the red is going to go up to 10%, and the orange is going to go up to 25% of it. Yellow is going to be 40%, green, blue, all the way down the rainbow, and purple is going to be the last at 92%, and the rest after that is going to be purple. And it's going to start at the top left. And down here, Internet Explorer, they use degrees, 135 degrees, an angle relative to where the gradient starts. But for our other IDs here, gradient left, about all we've changed is that part right there. Notice it was top left up there. We want it starting from the left, 180 degrees, the gradient right. We're going to have that start at the right, zero degrees. Start at the right there. And our radial gradient, this is kind of interesting here. This will display our gradient in a circular form. Each of the different web browsers has their own different way of doing that. All right, let's take a look at what this looks like. Open this up with Ice Weasel. There's our angled gradient, left gradient, right gradient, and our radial gradient. I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. You can get the source code at RobinsonProgramming.com.